Good afternoon, my name is Adriana Jade Webb and these are your headlines of 12.30. Chancellor Philip Hammond has claimed that the government are on the verge of unblocking Brexit negotiations as a figure is being finalised over the divorce bill. Theresa May's key ministers met this morning to discuss the final details of the cost and the total figure, reported to be £38 billion. Conservative MP Robert Halfin is unhappy with this figure. CCTV is set to become mandatory in slaughterhouses across England. The legislation, which will be introduced in spring next year, will ensure that arbitrators across the country comply with strict animal welfare standards. Gosport MP Charlotte Diniage says that, that this is a positive move to maintain high standards of animal welfare as the UK leaves the EU and a topic people feel strongly about. British MPs are aiming to tackle loopholes in employment law, offering people working for firms like Deliveroo and Uber basic rights such as sick pay. The move comes after the government were told that it could offer the rights and earn more tax from the legislation. The committees believe that personnel should be classed as workers by default instead. With this year marking the 200th anniversary of Jane Austen's death, it is only fitting that a book be released in her honour. Jane Austen's England, A Walking Guide, was written by 85-year-old Anne-Marie Edwards. She takes a look back at the places Jane walked and visited, as well as what inspired some of Jane's writing. The book launch attracted an audience of different age groups, all with an appreciation for Jane Austen. Winchester Mayor David McLean says Jane Austen is all the fashion. Jane Austen's effect this year has been phenomenal with the Guildhall, uh, with Winchester Cathedral, which has been absolutely fantastic, with the launch of the new £10 note, with the cathedral on it and Jane Austen. It's been a fantastic year. And finally, plans are being made for the first ever permanent ice rink and curling arena in Hampshire. The arena is a privately funded £20 million fixed-use development which would transform the old depot site at Bar End in Winchester. The proposal also includes a 120-bed hotel, restaurant, coffee house, convenience store and a tempon bowling arena. The arena is being supported by Olympic champions and Dancing on, stars, on Ice stars Torville and Dean. That's all the headlines for now. Back again in an hour.